The Delhi Jaipur Highway has been partially opened after a three hour closure that started as farmers began a tractor march from Shah Jahanpur on the Rajasthan Haryana border as part of their escalating 18 day protest against the center's contentious farm laws. A highway was opened as farmers removed a blockade from the Delhi Noida border at Chilla. Thousands of farmers on their way to Delhi, meanwhile, reached the Rewari border of Haryana, where the police blocked both sides of the Delhi Jaipur Highway to stop them from entering the state. Now, a nationwide protest has been planned for tomorrow against the laws which farmers say will shrink their income and give private firms an upper hand. <laughs> Another border point, partially blocked. This time, it's the Delhi Jaipur Highway, the only new highway to be blocked as the Delhi Noida border at Chilla opened today. As farmers from Rajasthan and Haryana marched towards Delhi, the police stopped them on the Rewari border, resulting in a blockade for those travelling from Jaipur to Delhi. There are farmers gathered on this side, singing songs on the stage. All of these farmers being led by Mr. Yogendra Yadav, on the other side of these barricades are the police deployments. Prime Minister says he wants to gift the farmers something historic. Farmers are saying thank you. We've looked at it. We don't like it. We never wanted it. We don't like it. Prime Minister says no, I'll change the wrapping. Farmers say thank you. We don't want it. We don't have arrangement to be absolutely honest. But this challenge is too big. Yes, it's cold. Yes, it's difficult. And yes, it also causes inconvenience to other commuters. We are very conscious of that. In fact, we are giving this leaflet to everyone, saying we are sorry. We don't want to trouble. This is not our aim. We want to facilitate. With no solution in sight, the protests at the Delhi Jaipur Highway 2 are set to continue. But for those who travel on these border routes, things are unlikely to get easier anytime soon. At the Rewadi border on the Delhi Jaipur Highway, with camera person Gauri Prasad, this is Sukirti Devedi for NGTV. Well, joining us now are Yogendra Yadav, the president of Swaraj India, Deshratan Nigam, uh, and Nikhil Dey. Thank you all very much for being with us. Uh, Mr. Yadav, is it the intention of farmers to now block uh, the Jaipur Highway, Delhi Jaipur Highway, both sides? Um, is, is that the next sort of objective as far as you are concerned? Uh, Vishnu, blocking the highway was never our objective. We were simply trying to march from Rajasthan to Delhi. Haryana comes in between and it is actually none of the business of the government of Haryana to come in the way. They blocked us. They said there is uh, section 144 in operation. And would you believe it, Vishnu? Yesterday, Haryana government imposed a curfew in the entire district of Rohtak, in the district of No, which they withdrew this morning, uh, yesterday midday itself. But curfew, section 144, because there is COVID. I simply asked the government, 10 days ago, the Deputy Chief Minister of Haryana held a big rally of farmers, thousands of them in the very area where we are doing it. No curfew, no Section 144, no COVID. So we were not wanting to stay here. We simply said, please allow us to march. The Haryana government blocked the way, put number of obstacles. We stuck to what we had said. If we are stopped on the way, we shall sit down and have a dharna wherever we are stopped. They happen to stop us on this side of NHH. We, we are sitting there protesting, continuing with a resolve to continue our dharna as long as either we are allowed to go to Delhi or the farmers continue to protest. Okay. Deshratan Nikam, why won't these farmers be allowed to come to Delhi? See, the fact is, uh, it is for the Haryana government to answer and certainly I believe uh, farmers should be allowed to, but the problem in Delhi is that all borders have been blocked. There has been huge jams and I also suffer the huge jams daily. And I have to take a very circuitous route, which takes, you know, uh, three times the time. So one time border was to open do. today, Mr. Nigam. Sorry to interrupt, just, just pointing that out. The Chilla border has been open yes, today. The farmers have moved. Chilla, through. you know, I, I crossed the other side of the Chilla border and I'm doing this program from Greater Noida. And uh, there, you know, I saw a huge jam. Still, it was open and there was a huge jam on the other side. Okay. And uh, there are borders are still blocked. Ghazipur border is blocked. The other borders are also blocked. And you remember Shaheen Bagh judgment in Supreme Court. They said you cannot block. 
these uh, roads. They are public properties and you cannot occupy the public properties like that. There are designated places. And uh, yes, they can, uh, a small delegation can be allowed to sit at Jantar Mantar, which is a designated place, or Ramlila Maidan, or for that matter, the ground at the, the borders that can be done. So protest is the right. There is no doubt about it. But the fact is, after government agreeing on most of the points that they had raised, and one after the other, the the mask is actually off. The people who are leading, and I tell you, I was with some farmer leaders uh, who were on TV discussion and panels, and some of them had assets worth hundreds of crores. And I knew them because they had contested elections and declared their assets and income. So who are these people? And the others who are leading are not farmers. Let me tell you, they have no farming experience, whether it is Medha Patkar or Yogendra Yadav. So I don't know who who are these farmers who are leading and misguiding them. All right, so one sec. Let's get an answer to that. Nikhil, they would you like to take that? Because this is yeah, yeah. A, a part of a series of, uh, of statements which have been made uh, questioning the leadership of the farmers and some of those who are participating. Yeah, um, this is continuously is this... the same attempt of, over and over again, Vishnu, of discrediting people. Instead of looking at the issues, let's first take let's take one issue at a time. Let's first take the issue that they said that people have no right to sit on the highway. As Yogendra Yadav said, it is the government that said you will not come to Delhi. It's the government that put blockades right across Haryana for farmers coming from Punjab, from UP, from Madhya Pradesh, from the south, from Rajasthan, and stopped them at the borders. We know earlier at the Rajasthan UP border, the UP police stopped people. Then they blocked the road, they dug up the roads, they did all kinds of things. And when farmers said, we want to come to Ramlila Maidan, they said, you cannot come to Ramlila Maidan. Now, if you say Burari grounds is where you're going to sit out of sight, out of mind, that is not the right to protest. And that's why finally, who is actually blocking these highways? Who is causing this kind of problem? The fact that you're not giving democratic space, number one. Number two, while they are saying there are no farmers there, Mr. Deshratan Nigam just needs to go and see. Go and see at Singhu border. Go and see at Rajasthan. Whoever may or may not be the leaders, the real leaders are the farmers themselves. From our own organization, Mazdoor Kisan Shakti Sangatan, there are farmers sitting there at Jaipur trying to come to Delhi from the Jaipur, that Shahjalpur border, trying to come to Delhi because this is an issue. You first say that, no, it only concerns Punjab and Haryana. No, there are people coming from Rajasthan also today, and they are not being allowed to come. And Mr. Nigam says, yes, they should be allowed to come, but they aren't. And they, it isn't by discrediting and saying someone has engaged or not engaged in farming, actually go and talk to them there, and you'll see that the people, the thousands, lakhs of people who are protesting are farmers, people who till the soil, people who deal with this the Mr. Nigam, is that there are extremists who are involved. There are Khalistani elements which are involved. In fact, that argument itself seems strange, given the fact that many of them are retired uh, uh, army men. Uh, they've been soldiers, any number of them, who are apparently participating in these protests. So the last thing they are, 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 are anti-national, deshdrohi, call them whatever you are, are sportsmen who support this cause, who have in a way fought for India, to honor India with Arjun awards and what have you, are they anti-national? I mean, the people participating are farmers or soldiers or soldiers turned farmers. Where is all of this coming from? See, see, let me let us be very clear. Uh, there are social media posts which are full completely about, you know, Khalistani slogans coming out and things about uh, Khalistan and things like that. They are the ones seems to have infiltrated. Nobody is saying that uh, all of them are. Yes, they there are people who are leading and misleading also at the same time. And therefore, one has to be very, very careful as to what is what are their demands. There are seven demands which were there, which government has given them assurance, but still they say they want to repeal. No clear leadership. Nobody wants to give their demands in writing. The government wanted them in writing. Clause-wise uh, response from the delegation, that was not given. Orally, what was told, the government came out with its seven proposals and responses meeting their demands. Yet they are saying repeal the laws. Government has made it very clear. This, uh, this, uh, you know, reform, farm bill, uh, farm acts. They need. They are trying to make a regime which used to exploit the farmers, giving them very low price. At the same time, 
the uh, consumer used to pay a huge amount of price. I'll give you an example for potato where two, three rupees a kg is given to farmers and ultimately when it re reaches the consumer, it is 30 rupees to 60 rupees it is being sold. Okay. So, uh, so where, where does the money in between go? So the middlemen, the commission agents jack up at every level and the two end use, uh, users, the farmers and the com consumers are actually suffering a lot. So this uh, reform, uh, you know, laws are trying to break that regime. And that is where the problem arises. Okay, and all right, let me get a quick reaction. Sure, let me, uh, from Yogendra Yadav, the point being made, apart from the examples he raised, is that you have rejected everything the government has proposed. This being the case, what is the road forward? The trouble is that the government not only wants to decide its own response, government also wants to decide what is it that farmers demand. Farmers are repeatedly saying, we want a repeat, we do not want amendment. The government says farmers asked for these many amendments, we've done it. Are Baba, they never asked for it, please allow farmers to speak for themselves. Clearly Mr. Nigam also knows more about me than I probably do. Sir, I own four acres of land. My parents still live in a village. You want the Khasra number? I do not. The, that I come on television that, and speak that, that, English. That does not make that you that a Kisan. Disentitle me from being a farmer? Why should I not speak about farmers for the last five? No, sir, you have not read the definition of government of India. Please go back and consult that. And if you mean that only someone who plows can be farmer, then 380 persons in the Parliament of India who claim to be farmers, they are all lying. Half of them are, more than half of them are from the BJP. You should be asking about that as well. And Mr. Nigam, for last five years, if you had bothered to find out about what I have been doing from 2015 onwards, you would probably not say the kind of things you are saying. But forget about all that. Forget about me, forget about all those things. But please think twice before calling them Khalistanis. All right. Just, just, I would say, let just me, have let some answer. sense let of me shame. Answer. I have seen those clippings. One of those clippings goes back to 2016, 2017. What kind of things is it? And if these are Khalistanis, why are you speaking to them? Why are you inviting them to Vigyan Bhavan? If they are stooges of Pakistan and China, why don't you arrest them? Why this double speak? All right. Look, we'll have to wrap it up can over here. I'm short no, on no, time. No, no, just give me 10 seconds. Yes, give me 10 seconds. 30 this seconds, go ahead, Mr. For the government you, you, yeah. as, as a right to reply, just, yes, please, quickly. Let, let, let me tell you, uh, I think Mr. Yadav did not hear me very properly, as he always does. I did not call all of them. I said it has been infiltrated by some, which, which, which is a bad thing. And secondly, in a parliamentary democracy, there are only two ways if you want a redressal of your grievances. Either you get it repealed through a process of parliament and getting it voted out there or challenge it in Supreme Court. All right. That's the only two. Okay, you don't so those you believe are the options. I'm only inter uh, interrupting you and I apologize because I'm out of time. I'd like to thank you all very much for joining us. We will keep up this issue. It's time now for us to take this short break.